and chair votes aye. Okay, regular business items. Uh, Planning Commission selection, Dustin. Thank you, Mayor. Um, as, as you all know, Planning Commission is a technical body uh, appointed by council. Uh, we had two openings uh, or one, two term expirations uh, that we needed to fill. Um, and so as a lead up to this meeting, a, um, a council uh, appointed or provided an opportunity for a, a subcommittee to review applications that were received. Uh, we received uh, seven applications and we reviewed um, and interviewed each of the applicants and provided an opportunity for them to, to meet us. And um, the mayor, Councillor Cunahan and I uh, provided a, a little uh, opportunity or to, to get to know the applicants better, to evaluate qualifications and um, provide council uh, an update and report on this. Um, we have recommendations um, based on scoring to, to reappoint Sue Powers, who is um, an existing uh, and sitting or a member whose term expired. And then uh, another recommendation for Amy Schlappi, who is a um, currently a transportation planner uh, and uh, that works with CAT. Um, she, uh, she scored very well, um, provided an really some really uh, great questions and Q and A. Um, but the, the decision is really for council to make. Um, you have an opportunity to either interview candidates, uh, take the recommendation, um, interview a subset, interview a greater set. Um, but we wanted to uh, take the opportunity to inform you what we learned and field any questions that you, that you may have, that the greater council may have. And you have sitting members here who, who are also um, super valuable and took their time out to, uh, to make some of the interviews happen, so. Okay, so um, the applications for all, all of the people that, that we interviewed are, were in your packet. And so um, we took about a half an hour, uh, Tim and I and Dustin interviewed everyone um, and took about a half an hour to interview each one of these applicants and um, they ask us questions and um, we kind of got to know them a little bit, but they had, we had some great applicants. I mean, sometimes we have two openings. We have one applicant, we have, you know, two openings and we have seven applicants. It was really fantastic. And um, in some ways difficult for us because we had so many great applicants. So I, Tim, if you want to give your input on that too. Sure, yeah, I will just back up <clears throat> what, the, what the mayor said and uh, all of the applicants uh, were to be commended for their excellent interviews and their excellent uh, application packets. Um, and it was <clears throat> a difficult choice and I, my impression was, at least for me, that the scoring was um, very close for all of the applicants and with very little, um, separ very little separating the, the, them. Um, I think that they were all, again, really awesome. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, other than that, I mean, I think that their application packets and their uh, speak for themselves. So does anyone have questions of us? Gladys? Yeah, thanks for the opportunity folks. And uh, just thank you for your time to um, take the time to interview folks. What I guess I want us all to be mindful of is, you know, I see Ms. Powers has been appointed and I'm sure she's done a fabulous job and, um, you guys believe that Amy should be added, but you know, I think sometimes, and I'll take my situation specifically. Um, I I wonder if 
Like we want to be able to have a diversity within our planning commission, right? Folks that potentially could be the end user, right? The folks that could potentially be living in the housing or that they're either connected to those individuals that could potentially be living in the housing or whatever it is that's being discussed. Um, and I just look at some of these candidates who are very great candidates. Um, and just wondering if, are we also looking at giving other op members of our community the opportunity to just simply learn um, and to start here, right? Like this is the planning commission or the commission where you start to just serve your time and start to learn more. Um, so I guess I just wanna publicly say that or make that comment that while I will definitely take your guys' recommendations, you guys took the time to do them and I appreciate that time. I'm also just wondering, are we going with Sue because it's easy to have her on and we don't have to teach her something new? Or is it better that we go with someone completely brand new who hasn't done this and we give them the opportunity and we allow them for growth and support them through that with the idea that hopefully we can get more of that. That now they're gonna go feel empowered. I was, I was at an opportunity, I was given the opportunity and then I learned, now I want others to come and do the same because that to me is much more intentional rather than let's just go with someone because they've been doing it. Um, and that's just my comment. Mark? Um, I, I was gonna say this even before Gladys's thing, but um, uh, I, for Sue's position, I was gonna um, advocate that decision, not just because she's been there and done it, but she's still relatively new and just the planning commission meetings that I've seen is she's finally has traction and is getting into it and, and asking really good questions and stuff. And that's to the benefit of the city. So I think that planning commission is technical enough and, and you know, maybe Tim and Kate have both served on planning commission for quite a bit is that, you know, it takes a little while to, to just know what's going on and what, you know, what different kinds of applications mean and stuff. And so with Sue, I think that, you know, we're, we're now in where she can provide the most value to the city, um, given that, that, that everyone thinks that she's doing a good job. Um, for the, the second one, I, I was prepared to, you know, go along with the, with the subcommittees thing if we wanted to do that. But, but if, if we feel that we should, you know, pick three of those candidates and do a round of interviews, um, um, I'm happy to that if, as well. I, uh, I, I guess just repeating, you know, I, I, I like this method of doing the interviews better than what we used to do. Um, and, and the subcommittee thing is good, but that is just a recommendation to us and, and us picking to do a couple interviews of people for that other position, I think would be fine. Others? Megan? Uh, I mean, I guess I'm gonna, maybe I can't do this, but both agree with Gladys and Mark of, I think it, there is real value in having at least some folks on the, on the commission that, you know, have, have learned what they're doing and can help be the leaders on that commission and can help the city move our projects forward. Um, and there's value in being very intentional about bringing in new blood and, and training people up and creating opportunities for, you know, uh, volunteers to, to join the city. Um, it's kind of nice to have two different positions where we can maybe do both at once. Um, I definitely don't know a number of the folks on this commission, so I'm wondering if there's folks um, that we think would be good to you know, provide new opportunities to besides Amy, if anyone has any opinions on that. I will go ahead and jump right in on that one. I see, for example, there's a candidate who's an educator, folks. What if this educator is then talking to his students about planning 
at a young age, right? And now we're starting that designing equity amongst and diversifying our own members because he's helping bridge that gap to that community. So example like that. And I'm just saying, let's be very intentional folks. I didn't know what I was doing. I still kind of don't know what I'm doing, but I'm learning and I have staff that help support me to learn. Um, so I don't think you have to have the experience of being or that I had to have been on commission for a year or two before being on council. I'll talk a little bit more about um, some of my thoughts through the interview process. So we had a few applicants that um, have some planning um, um, education slash experience. Um, so they know what planning commission is, they know what code is, they know what municipal code is, they understand the process of going through it. They, um, there's that, there's those aspects. Um, then we, we are losing um, one commissioner, the chair, we're losing the chair who has a lot of experience um, both at city council level and at planning commission level. Um, and so I think we're, you know, we're trying to fill a, a gap on our commission with some expertise, a little bit of expertise and a little bit of new thinking. So, you know, we're trying to, we're trying to find someone that would, would work, not necessarily have the same thoughts that everyone has, but um, we're trying to, to find someone that would work in there. Um, like I said, and like Tim echoed, we, we had several applicants that we thought were good. I mean, if you say, okay, we're ranking these people and you know, we have three of them that are a nine and one of them that's an eight or one of them's a nine and three of them are an eight. I mean, the, it could have gone a different direction. Um, because they were very close, they were very close. Um, but I do want to say that, you know, Tim and myself and Dustin all had Sue and Amy when, when we were on the top of our list. So, you know, that, that is how we came to the conclusion we came to. It doesn't mean you, you can't vote for somebody else. It doesn't mean we can't have people in to do more interviewing and you guys can listen to what they have to say. Um, we do need to get somebody up to speed a SAP and get them on the commission because we have so many things going on. Arthur's going to be gone January 1st. Um, we need to get people reappointed um, or appointed um, soon. So um, we can do more interviews, but we need to get, get going as quick as we can on this because we have a lot of decisions and they, ne they need to be getting up to speed on, on doing those. Jessica? Yeah, I'll just chime in and say, um, just to re reiterate some other comments. One, it was an impressive list of candidates and I uh, kudos to however we communicated this and then we had so many applicants this time was great. And thank you guys for your time and interviewing them. Um, I, you know, since you guys did take that time, I am comfortable with your recommendation. Um, I recognize that it would be helpful to have Sue's experience as well as the, the new perspectives that Amy would bring. Um, or to chime in, like Mark, Mark said, if you know folks want to do some kind of alternative process with bringing folks in to interview, we could do that. Um, or like I said, I will. I'm okay with the recommendation. Anyone else, Eric? Yes, I think I'm where Jessica is as well. I mean, it does look like an impressive list. Uh, I saw one of the people seems to have a even a degree in this very topic. Um, he looked like a good resume, but you guys went through it, and it's they're close enough that um, in this particular circumstance, I'm fine deferring to your guys's recommendation.
Okay, now normally what we do, um, if people want to vote, how, how would we do that, Rachel or Dustin? I mean, because normally we have the whole list of candidates and then we, we vote on those, or how, how would you suggest we do this in the Zoom world? Um, Mayor, if you can go ahead and uh, someone could make a motion to accept the recommendation, that would be the, is that what you're asking? If you'd well, like everybody to vote on the whole slate, we, we could do it a different way. Yeah, I mean, normally we, we have the list of the full names and then you just, each person votes for two. And we hand that back in to Jen and then she, they tally the votes and they keep record of those votes. Um, but we can, you know, go with the recommendation and then just see what the vote goes. We'll have to do it. Um, if you'd like to just vote for two, we're gonna just have to do that verbally. Okay. This time. Uh, otherwise, you could just, someone could make a motion to accept the recommendation, either way. Okay. Um, does someone want to make a motion? I've heard at least a couple people say that they thought the slate was fine. And if you don't like the slate and you vote no and we don't get a majority, we can go back to doing something different. I will move to accept the recommendation and reappoint Sue Powers to and appoint Amy Schlappi to the Hood River Planning Commission. Okay, I have a motion by Jessica to appoint uh, Sue Powers and Amy Schlappi to Hood River Planning Commission. Do I have a second? Second. Um, I have, well, Eric seconded the motion. I had two people second at the same time. Eric seconded the motion. Um, okay, I'll do a roll call vote. Mark? Yes. Megan? Yes. Eric? Aye. Jessica? Aye. Gladys? Nay. Tim? Aye. Um, chair votes aye. All right. Um, we have new planning commissioners appointed then. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I'll probably send some correspondence uh, to those um, recommended for appointment and then is uh, probably something to everyone else as well thanking them for their interest uh, on behalf of the city I think they uh, I think like Councilor Kuna had mentioned um, we were grateful that they were even willing to, to step out and make that interview and, and that's something that I think we do we want to make sure that we acknowledge that and uh, make sure that we keep this open for application so I'll on your behalf if you're okay I'll, I'll... absolutely yes absolutely Matt, we we had some really great candidates. If we could encourage them to reapply, that would be awesome. Weren't there some URAC positions open at, as well? That's one of the questions I had about whenever we get a good pool like this, is there another open position that we could um, ask them to consider? Yeah, do some yes. internal communication. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I see that Will jumped on. Yes. We were waiting for you, Will. <laughs> there are two open there are two open slots and app we're receiving applications right now. I believe the uh, members in those um, spots have have communicated their intention to reapply as well. 